Welcome everybody to another episode of Will It Coffee. On today's episode, Will It General So's Chicken Coffee. All right, water's in, filter's in, let's get to it. Let's get some coffee in here for starters. That would always help very nicely. Get some coffee in here, put it into the filter, just like so. Put that off to the side. General Tso's chicken, wonderful chicken. If you haven't had it, definitely go get some. Highly recommend it, you get some, especially if it's from a good place to get it. But in coffee form, I have no idea how this is gonna go. Just figured, why the hell not? Let's take this, rip it open. If I play my cards right, it might just end up tasting like General Tso's chicken and not coffee. And that should be good enough. So that's that top part right there. What you can see is what the mix looks like. Man, it's got what? I don't even know what the heck's in here that makes up all of this. Garlic powder. Hey, they even got chicken broth and chicken fat in here. Wonderful. All right, let's get the water, toss it in, because science. Here we go. You know, it actually smells quite nice in here. Interesting. Might actually be looking forward to this one. Again, garlic powder, cornstarch, salt, onion, like an onion powder, chicken fat, chicken broth, that kind of thing. So you got a lot of savoriness, obviously, from this. But will it coffee? Let's find out. I really am curious, legitimately. So, didn't make a whole lot this time. Thought I made more, but didn't make a whole lot this time around. It actually just smells like, just like, you know, some whatever ramen soup that you can think of. It might actually almost be similar to the, when I had the pho coffee last time. This actually smells quite nice, and again, probably the ratios, you know, a little, a little more toward the the general sows this time around. But here we go. Oh, jeez. There's a little bitterness in there. That mix is not, it's not as smooth as the, as the pho was. Not the worst, but not a coffee flavor anytime soon, folks. It starts just like 
you know, a, a ramen, almost like when you have the cup of noodles type of soup base. And you mix that with water, and that's that's exactly what you have here. But it has that extra sour note or tangy kind of feel at the end. I don't know if it's from the General Tso's itself or if it's also mixed with the coffee. I have no idea why. But I'm still drinking it, so it can't be that bad. Well, let's try... Uh, what's in here and a bunch of it actually didn't get a bunch of it actually didn't uh, make it all the way into the container which explains a lot okay that that just looked pretty nasty it looks like a whole bunch of congealed fat and uh, and coffee grounds this thing up right here. Oh boy. There it is. try it again you get the you get the coffee for sure and whatever it's combining it as oh that's more coffee than general so's <laughs> it's something I really can't put my my finger on it there's a little spice in there too actually just a tad bit of spice it's got this earthiness it just turns into this earthy of uh, coffee roasty type of flavor. And that one's not good. Whatever went down in here was not offensive. This, on the other hand, uh, would not strike a chord on anybody. See you later. So would you try some General Tso's chicken coffee for science? Let me know down in the comments. As a note, while the coffee was brewing earlier, I had some coffee from Sandino Coffee Brothers. They're based actually in Portland, Oregon. Really, really good coffee. And yes, I took the last of this coffee and paired it with Jägermeister. And you saw my reaction to that. That's all everybody for this episode of Willie Coffee. Embrace that pain, and I'll see you in the next video.